Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you just how good I am with a digital bow and arrow. People basically call me Legolas. That's how good I am when it comes to VR archery. Real world archery on the other hand, I'm not too great. The last time I used an actual bow and arrow, I hurt myself quite badly, so won't be doing that anytime soon. Now the developers of this new VR archery game, Battle Bows, reached out to me and said, hey, we want to sponsor you to make a video, and I said, yes, that's very cool, I'd love to do that. I love VR archery, I say that a lot in my videos, so I'm always up for trying out another VR archery game. Now this one is a tower defense game, and you're fighting against balloons. Yes, that's right, balloons. Let me show you some of these dastardly balloons. Um, now you've probably played tower defense games before so I'm not gonna sit and kind of teach you to suck eggs basically there's a castle and you need to defend it and stop these murderous little balloons from reaching the castle and destroying it breaking through your fortifications now that is the basic balloony they're called balloonies maybe because they're balloons and they're loony not entirely sure there's a wide range of different balloons <laughs> it's so weird to say that there's a wide range of different balloons that will be attacking your castle. Flying ones, sneaky ninja ones, bouncing ones, ghosty ones, and there's even boss ones as well that you have to fight through. The game's very simplistic, really easy to pick up and play, um, doesn't require any physical movement, so it'll be a great one for kids, VR newcomers, or families. Just something simple to jump into, see if you can get the high score on the leaderboard, and then do it all over again. Right, let's jump into this. Now I'm going to play solo, and I am going to basically complete the game just in one go because I'm that good. Beginner, intermediate, expert, endless. Part of me wants to go expert because, you know, I'm talking a big talk, so let's let's go expert. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Now the last thing I need to select before jumping into the actual game is my power up, my special ability. Now you've got lightning, fire, ice or poison. I quite like fire. Fire is just like a little nuke. It just blows them all up if they're in close proximity. But I might try ice freezing them. Is that better? No, let's go fire. Stick with your gut. Welcome to my kingdom. I don't know if I'm like the king here or just some kind of lowly peasant, but this is the castle that I need to defend. To start a round, you shoot that big orb in the sky. It fills with magical juice. Not sure what it is, just some kind of magical juice. And then at that point, all the balloons start pouring in and trying to murder you. Now, the game does have only snap turn, which, as you know, is a cardinal sin. I hope the developers do add smooth turn at some point, because I prefer smooth turn. It's, it's just better, in my opinion. Right, let's start this. When I shoot this, it all begins, and you'll see just how incredible I am at VR archery. Right, here we go. He's dead. Oh, nah, not yet. Not yet. Right, that one. Long shot. Check this out. Oh, not quite good enough. That one's going to get him. Yeah! Far shot, baby. Now, you get special kind of um, multipliers and extra points for doing specific shots. So, like, far shots, hitting them under the bridge. That counts as a special shot. Ugh. Oh, that was so close. So, if I get in there... Yeah. Oh, that didn't count. I thought that would be under the bridge or through the gap. It might be cool. So, there's lots of kind of skill shots you can get. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Far shot, right. Now, there's these little targets up here as well. And if you get them, it's extra points. Ah! Yeah, come on. Ah! No! You bugger! No! Okay, we missed that star. I think it's just extra points, though, so I'm not too fussed about missing out on it. Now, I can get this, and it will drop a little poison cloud into the section where it lands. There we go. Oi! Oh, my God, he's breaking through already. Oh, my God, this is awful. It's like level one, and I'm already dying. Jeez. Maybe I'm not like Legolas. Maybe I'm like, who's bad with a bow? I don't know. Historically, I just don't know. Okay, round two. I'm going to position myself here to look at this door, because I think this is the only one I really need to worry about. Oh, bugger, I missed the target. Um, if they go anywhere else, I don't... Ooh. Oh, that's fine. That'll do. We'll waste one of those on one little dude. Now, this is a lot like in Death Unchained, uh, in that it is a proper workout for your arms, because you're holding one arm, like outstretched the entire time it quite quickly starts to kind of feel the burn so if you want one really muscly arm and one not so muscly arm this is the game to play come on mate get through there i think it's every four stages there's like a boss that turns up 
something really satisfying about murdering loads of balloons. You know? It just feels good to hear them pop. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh oh. Ooh, nearly. The characters themselves are like really expressive. I love the uh, I love the visuals. Especially the red ones. The red ones are probably my favourite with their buck teeth and Mike Wazowski eyeballs. Oh, here comes the boss. Here he comes in his big... Ugh! You've got to break his shields. And then get to his actual innards. You can't take your eye off the prize here either. Because then you'll be in trouble. Alright, come back, big balloon boy. Ah! He's got loads of shields. Oh, flip. Mate, can you die? One shot. Yeah, take that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> right, wave five. So at wave five, we've killed a boss. And we get a little bit of respite. I can chill out now. I can relax. And the barrels come back as well. So I've got a chance to defend my castle once more. I do wish again like you could move around the castle. I wish there was a mode whereby like the entire castle was being assaulted and you could jump between the battlements. But it's built to be played in co-op as well. So if you are playing co-op, other players will be on the other battlements. Flipping heck. Die. Nope. Nope. Oh, the door. Is the door back? The door's kind of back. Is it like rebuilding the more I defend? Holy hell, I did not know that was a thing. Okay, the door is fully rebuilt now, so I guess the, the doors do rebuild. I did not know that. I clearly haven't survived oh, long enough to even witness that happening. Yes. But I told you I was good at archery. You didn't believe me. You thought I was just chatting nonsense, but... Here's the proof. The proof is in the pudding. And the pudding is delicious. There's a giant sleeping demon! Okay, that's got to be a boss in it. Okay, not sure what to do with that thing. Haven't encountered that before. That's slightly worrying. Um, he's just sleepwalking his way to my house. Do I need to use my special... Okay, this is probably the time to use my special ability, right? Uh-oh. Not quite yet. Put the flame in the thing. Wake him up. Uh, uh, uh. That woke him up. And then pop his eyeballs. Oh, ah! What's happening here? He's been sick all over me. Okay. Oh, how do I stop him? I don't know how to, I don't know how to stop him. Maybe I have to hit that one. That did it. Pop his eye. Yes. And again. Ah, oh, he's being sick all over me. I don't really appreciate it. Right, if I time this right, I might be able to drop that flame power up on his head. Or well, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Oh, baby. I've got his bloody eye from all over it. Ah, that's really hard. I can nope. <laughs> oh, it was so cool. I hit the thing and it did the thing with the stuff. There we go. Right. Power up. Go. Pop his eyes. Pop his eyes. No. <laughs> How do you stop that? I don't... Oh, there we go. He's done. Flipping heck. I didn't like that fella. He was... Uh... He was, he was just not very nice, really. But he's dead now, so it's fine. Haven't got to worry about it. Oh my god, what is that? What is that there? It's got a bomb on it, has it not? I don't really know. Oh, he's got a bomb. Oh, he's got a bomb. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Is he dead? No, nope, he's still alive. Great, I've got to hit the bomb. Oh. As you can see, things get a little bit more hectic the further you get. <laughs> I think this would be a lot of fun with uh, four people. Ah! No, no, no! Oh my god. Oh, it's all going wrong. No, get off my door. That was a waste. Ugh. Hit that. Is that going to do anything? No. Ah, he's in. Whoa, they're in my castle again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I might I might be moments away from death. Things are getting... Uh, there's too many. There's too <laughs> many to handle. Stop. 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 Way so fast. Oh, no. No! <laughs> uh, okay. Bug off you. This is round. Oh! Look at this guy! Uh, don't like him. Okay, can't put all my focus on him. Extent. Uh, they'll get into the castle. <laughs> Come on. Let's get rid of these guys so I can look at that big monstrosity. What are you doing? 
you doing? There we go. Right, I'm taking his eye out. Oh, flipping heck. Come on. Get his eye. Ah! Ah, there we go. Ah! That's so hard to hit. He's so far away. Can you come closer, mate? There we go. Come on. I think he heals. Oh, I'm not going to get it. He's healing. No. <laughs> He's healing. Stop healing. I hate you. Come on. Right, yeah. You're going down, bro. You're going down, bro. One more eyeball. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I told you I was going to complete the whole game. Absolute artery check my arm. It's so painful. Is that even a good score? 5,835? Is that good? 62% accuracy is bloody a mate. Right, I need to see how good that is compared to everyone else. Second! Toast! How is Toast top with... Three... Three times my score. Right, this is Battle Bows. It's a lot of fun. It's a little bit simplistic. In a good way, I don't mean that in a bad way, but I would like to see more content added in the future. Smooth turn, I think, is a must-have. I would like to be able to freely move around the castle, maybe a harder mode where you can jump between all of the battlements and there's balloons coming from every angle. I would like that very much. The biggest thing, though, is more levels. I would like more levels, more environments, more places to fight off balloonies, more castles to defend. That would keep me coming back over and over again. Right now, there's just the four difficulty modes. You can also play with friends, and you can hop into quick play. The game really is about chasing the top scores, and I do think it's a good game for kids, families, and people who get motion sick, maybe, if they don't want to have stick-based locomotion. They want to plant themselves and test their archery skills. I can actually do the bow and arrow in here, so let's do it. I like it. Very simplistic. Good for kids. Good for families. Hope you enjoy, guys. This is Battle Bows. It's out this week, and I'll see you soon for another one. Take care, everyone. Goodbye!